I remember I was born, I've been painting. I mean, I, I feel like, to be honest, I didn't know how to do anything else. It was, I was born with this gift. I just knew that I was happy painting. You know, I wasn't into reading, I wasn't into math. Um, it, was, it was something that gave me some type of disconnection with, with, uh, with what was out there. So it was, uh, it was like a therapy for me as a child. So I went for my annual checkup and I got the terrible news that I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, you know, my priority was to take care of my health and to prepare myself for, so for what was coming. And, um, and I went through different surgeries, different procedures. And during those procedures, my husband was the one that said to me, why don't you start painting again? Go back to, to painting and I think it's going to help you to overcome a lot of things that, that, you, you did, that I was going through. And I think that pushed me to, to start you know, all over again, to do something that, that, that literally helped me to, to move on. It's something that, um, that helped you to 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 connect i guess to connect with with reality to to connect with what you have in mind your imagination and it did create an impact in me you know because when you go through such a tragic uh disease you kind of want to block everything when you enjoy something it's it's it doesn't become a job and one thing took me to another. I ended up uh, doing an exhibition in Shanghai, China. And from there, I submitted one of my artwork to a brewing company. And I was the winner of uh, the face of their beers. And from there, um, I was selected for the city of Miami to paint one of the sculptures. So it did change my life completely. So believe it or not, uh, and it's funny that I, I'm saying this today's day, I think surviving a breast cancer was a blessing. Live today. Live today to the max and don't worry about tomorrow.